In this example, we will look at acquisition related costs. Now, immediately when you identify in a scenario relating to the business combination that there is acquisition related costs, you need to know that this should be expensed in your profit and loss. But there is an exception to this rule, guys. Remember, if your parent, as part of the consideration paid for the shares, issues the benches or equity. You need to know that the transaction costs relating to those debentures or equity should be capitalized. And only when we consolidate, guys, we need to reclassify this to our profit and loss. Now, in this example, they indicate to us that as part of our consideration, there is cash of 500,000. They've issued 50,000 shares to the value of 300,000. Issued the benches to the value of 200,000. Now, guys, remember your first step, you need to determine what is the consideration transferred at fair value. Second step, you need to add your NCI. Third step, you need to add fair value of any previously held shares. Fourth step, determine your net asset value, and then you are able to calculate if there is goodwill or gain on bargain purchase. In this example, the total value of our consideration is the 500,000 plus the 300,000 plus the 200,000, and this will be 1 million. Therefore, guys, our investment in our subsidiary, we debit with a 1 million. Remember, we are now busy with a P limited record. Therefore, we are busy with a parent record. We credit our bank. We credit share capital. Remember, share capital increase on the credit side and decrease on the debit side. And then we've issued the benches, which will now be a financial liability. And we need to credit this with 300,000. Then they indicate to us that legal and other costs incurred in relation to the acquisition of the shares amounts to 63,000. Guys, immediately you need to know that this should be expensed. Therefore, debit the expense in our profit and loss. Then they indicate to us costs to issue the shares and the debentures amounted to 45,000 and 32,000. Guys, you need to know that these costs we need to capitalize. Therefore, if we capitalize this, think about the transaction. We need to pay these costs. Therefore, we debit what? And credit our bank account. So our bank decreased. And now we need to capitalize this against our debentures account. Guys, do you see? We debit our financial liability with a 32,000. And we debit our retained earnings with a 45,000. And we debit our other expense with a 63,000. And very important, guys, this is in the separate records of P Limited, our holding company.